Hi, my name is Zach and I'm an Argyle student. Argyle is a small school that is having a significant effect in Winnipeg. Our school pioneered renewable energy with the first wind turbine in the Manitoba school. Our extensive composting program supports our trees and indoor and outdoor gardens. By installing a low flow water faucets, we have focused on respecting our water supply. We commissioned a world-renowned Canadian glass artist to create a sculpture for our outdoor classroom that is based on the Aboriginal seven teachings, respect, love, honesty, courage, humility, wisdom, and truth, and the four elements, earth, air, water, and fire. The sculpture represents our students and our community's responsibilities to the environment. Each year, Argyle students create videos on the environment that are shown in a variety of settings. These outstanding videos have won a variety of high-profile contests. The Manitoba Water Conservation, the Manitoba Crazy for Composting, and both the Manitoba and the Canadian Councils for International Cooperation. These videos have been shown across Canada. Our innovative composting program was set up as a result of students winning the Manitoba Green Action Center contest. Argyle students are committed to practicing environmental responsibility in the home, school, and local community. We actively promote the three pillars of sustainability and community in our world, economic, social, and environmental. The students at Argyle are looking forward to a number of possible projects in the coming months and in the upcoming school year. The acquisition of additional equipment would greatly facilitate the development of short documentary and dramatic videos. The purpose of our environmental documentary video initiative is to communicate and champion the topics of caring for our local watershed, composting our waste at home, school, business environments, and promoting sustainability at conferences and in the community at large. Water. It's everywhere, but it is also a limited resource. Only one half of one percent of all water on Earth is drinkable. In some parts of the world, there's a water shortage. One in six people lack access to safe drinking water. Some of the places where water is predicted to be an extreme problem include Africa and California. Manitoba is a very unique place in the world in terms of water. Manitoba's 100,000 lakes and associated rivers and streams carry 900 trillion liters of surface water and cover 16% of the province. Do you know where your tap water comes from? Water is carried from Show Lake to Winnipeg by aqueduct. 8.8 .8 billion liters of water is stored in four large reservoirs. Unfortunately, we take our water for granted and misuse it. Three. Two, one. Our pollution in Manitoba of our precious water is making life unsustainable. Did you know that two years ago Lake Winnipeg was chosen as the most endangered lake in the world? Our farms are allowing runoff into the river which flows into Lake Winnipeg. Algae feed off these nutrients killing off all of their life. There are two things we can do to improve our water situation. One, use less water. And two, Stop adding things like harmful chemicals to our water. Manitobans use an average of 223 liters of water per day. There are many easy and simple ways to save water. By doing so, you save some money too. Grab a wrench and fix that leaky faucet. It's simple and inexpensive and can save 630 liters of water a week. When washing dishes, don't run the water. In the kitchen, fill one sink for washing water and the other for rinsing. Take showers instead of baths. A full bathtub takes up to 300 liters of water. Install low flow shower heads and faucets. Don't use the toilet as an ashtray or wastebasket. Use a commercial car wash that recycles water or wash your car on the lawn and you'll water your grass at the same time. Use runoff to water plants, lawns, and gardens. Use a broom instead of a hose to clean sidewalks, patios, and driveways. Minimize use of kitchen sink garbage disposal units. Use filtered water instead of bottled water. It takes six liters of water to make and deliver one bottle of water to your house. Store drinking water in the refrigerator rather than letting tap water run every time you want a cold glass of water. Reduce your water use for cooking. 
Finally, the other thing we can do to help our water situation in Winnipeg is to stop polluting the water. Stop using harmful detergents to wash your dishes. Stop throwing paint, oil, and other forms of litter down the toilet or sink. Reduce the consumption of pork. Pig farms are polluting our rivers. Never use pesticides or fertilizer on your yard or garden. Never flush medication down the drain. Get involved and start planting trees wherever possible. Trees make a huge difference both to our soil and to our water. Thank you for listening to why it's so important to ensure that we're doing everything we can to improve our city's water.